Growing up here, it's a small area, small community. Everybody knows everybody. Today's age, there's too much distraction on the road. You can make a million right decisions, but that one decision that's not right may not let you be here tomorrow. As a kid, we had an incident take place. We lost a student who graduated with us, and it was really hard. It was the night we graduated Friday night, and I'll never forget that. Every two years, our school resource officer, Deputy Lawson, organizes a mock fatal accident. The mock fatals are set up to be as realistic as possible. I mean, we have cars that are actually smashed up. We get students that play the victims. There's a lot of agencies involved. The volunteer fire departments, the volunteer ambulance, the state police, our agency. Deputy Lawson, her heart and soul is into it. She's been able to organize it, expand on it, bring in more agencies. Uh, Deputy Lawson uh, brought in some realism to the program. I wanted more detail in it. I wanted them to feel what it was like to get taken out of the car, taken to the judge, get arraigned, then being told, you're gonna do some prison time now. You just killed somebody. You, you know, I wanted them to feel the whole impact of it all. So this one right here is low. It's a BAC blood alcohol count of 0.06. So I don't know if somebody wants to just maybe have like a little buzz going. I'll take the hardest. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How do you feel? Unbalanced. When they pull you out to give you a test, your arms are to your side and it's heel to toe. <laughs> Following this one right here. No, nope, you're going the wrong way. I think it's impacting everyone really. It was a good learning experience for all of them. It shows that people really do die in this world. So they just feel more connected with law enforcement, which is a great thing. Just seeing one of your friends put into a body bag, even though you know they're not actually dead, it definitely has an impact on you. Now that they have that memory of witnessing an event like this, that they might actually think twice before they do something that's destructive. We want them scared because I want to see you grow up and become the person you want to be. It's very difficult to measure prevention, but when you go through a school year with no accidents and, and no fatals, I think it's a win. I think this program would fit very well in a lot of communities, and I, it seems to be effective. I mean, you just had a few drinks. How do you feel? Yeah, definitely not able to do this easily. Yeah. Uh, Deputy Lawson has promoted a higher level of safety and awareness in the community. She has made it more professional. She's got more of us involved, and she's made it very real to everyone. It has changed a lot of behaviors. I have noticed throughout the years. Just remember Deputy Lawson, always the one nagging on you. Seatbelts, everybody be safe, seatbelts. Make sure no drinking and driving today. So whatever it takes, just don't make the stupid decisions.